close your eyes and focus on your breath. Watch the breath as it comes in and as it goes out. And not just once, keep doing it, breath after breath. You've got to remember to stay here because it's so easy to forget. Something else comes into the mind, looks more interesting, and you're off with it. But you've got to be alert to what's going on and have mindfulness. It's this quality of keeping something in mind. This is something we have to develop in all activities. There's a passage that says, where the Buddha says that the two things that help us most in every activity are mindfulness and alertness. And so you've got to st strengthen the two of them. Alertness is what keeps watch over what you're actually doing. If you see you're slipping off, then you have to remember, come back to the breath. Because sometimes you slip off because you're not alert, and other times you slip off because your mindfulness has had a, had a lapse. You've forgotten going off someplace else. So you need the two of them to work together. Be alert to the fact that your mindfulness should be solid, and keep remembering that you've got to be alert and mindful. Now, why do we need to develop these qualities? Well, whatever you're going to do, you have to remember what's right and what's wrong, what's good and what's bad. What's the skillful way of doing something? What's the unskillful way? And then keep in mind that you want to keep watch over your actions to make sure they're not unskillful. And it's so easy to lose one of these two qualities. Like with mindfulness, you, a lot of us here have been listening to the Dharma for a long time. You hear it again and again, week in and week out, and then you forget it. You may remember it in general, but when the time comes to actually use it, you've forgotten. The Buddha compares mindfulness to a gatekeeper. In this case, the gatekeeper has either fallen asleep or he's just sort of sitting there blurry. Because the duty of the gatekeeper is to make sure that only good people come in, only trustworthy people come into the fort, and untrusty ones are kept out. But if the gatekeeper is asleep, everybody can come in and go out as they like. And it's the same with our actions. If we're not really mindful, if we don't keep the Dharma in mind, the Dharma of what's skillful, what's not skillful, we can't remember this. and. It doesn't really make that much difference. We've heard all these things, but if it doesn't have, make any difference, then what good is it? Another comparison the Buddha makes is that mindfulness is like a goad. You know, in the old days when they would have farm animals that would pull the, the plow, you needed a goad to poke them to make sure they went in the right direction. Well, our goad is like a spaghetti noodle. It doesn't really have any impact. In other words, we may remember what's right and wrong, but it just doesn't really get the mind to stop saying unskillful things or doing unskillful things or thinking unskillful things. In that case, mindfulness is not much use. So you've got to strengthen your mindfulness. This is how you do it. You give it a task like this, something simple and something pleasant, because the breath, after all, can be adjusted so it feels really, really good. So pay full attention to the breath, and you'll find that you develop a sense of ease and well-being in the body. When the body feels good, then the mind has a good place to settle down. It's a good place to settle down. It's much more likely to stay here and be alert in the present moment. And so you're strengthening your mindfulness, you're strengthening your alertness, and you're developing a sense of well-being inside. And the breath meditation does a lot, and it's a good foundation to try to carry with you throughout the day, not only while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you get up and move around and start dealing with other people and dealing with other tasks. The qualities of mindfulness and alertness you developed here are going to help you. So that your gatekeeper is alert and awake. Something unskillful is about to come out your mouth and you say no. Some ideas for doing unskillful things come out of the mind you say no. You know that this would be bad for you, so you let them out into the world. And your goad is sharp and it's strong. As soon as you remember that this is unskillful, then you remind yourself, okay, I don't want to do anything unskillful. You have a sense of compunction. And that way, the, the Dharma you've learned will be of use, because you've got the mindfulness and alertness that provide the container that keeps your knowledge of the Dharma alive as you go through the day.